Hello everyone. Welcome to some timeless messages with the mystical shaman oracle. I've got the chakra love, the star seeds and the fortune cookie cards that we're going to use to confirm or just extra messages for you. But this is this video is intended whenever you hear this, whenever you listen to this, whenever you need encouragement, I, I save it somewhere. This is how to navigate through the changes what maybe needs to change in your life where spirit is encouraging you to change, to grow, to let go, to open up to. We're going to get the medicine, the essence, the invitation of each card and talk about it. And I'm wishing you all so many blessings. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, it's nice to have you here. If you've been around a while, you know that you're one of the chosen ones. If you're guided to this channel, it just is what it is. So I encourage you to keep listening, listen to past messages. It's all there as timeless messages for you to grab, to listen to when you need encouragement. I'm a healer. I'm a divine healer. I'm here to help you. I can help you release. I can help you open up to your dreams. Please reach out to me as you feel guided. Okay, our first message here is the ghost dance 22 master number dealing with and navigating through change the essence the ghost dance of the american plains indians united the spirits of the living with those of the ancestors to bring peace to the world when the ancestors are honored they bring harmony to us when we hold them responsible for all that is wrong with us today, they haunt us. Honor the spirits of the ancestors and receive their lessons and gifts. This includes honoring your own past lives, everything that got you to the point you're at today. 22 is a higher level of mastery. You're on path for that. The medicine. If you are trapped in a vicious cycle of nostalgia, mourning a lost youth, or opportunities missed, it is time to make an altar for the ancestors. Collect a few photos, light some incense, offer sage, and open the windows of your house to release them to their destiny and to the wind. Be wary of snarred, of being in snarred relationships with someone from a past lifetime, as the people we loved or hurt have a way of reappearing in our lives. There is no learning for you there anymore. So I feel with the ancestors, what spirit is saying is there's someone in your life, whether it be a lover or a friend, someone that you're in connection with that you know in your heart, it's time to let go. And it's okay to let go. It's okay to let it transform. It's okay to move forward, okay? If there's no learning and it's just toxic or this really, I'm feeling this really heavy pushing against energy, it's time to just release them. Release them to the light, release the connection, release the contract, because there's new contracts that want to come in. The invitation. The ancestors have a message of healing and a powerful medicine to offer you. Create a sacred moment at your altar, light a candle to them, and let their wisdom infuse you. At this stage in your life, you are done repeating their tragic stories. Step into the abundance that is offered to you. Receive the gifts of those that have come before you and write a new story for your life. Yeah, it's time for new beginnings. I've been feeling that in a lot of messages. That's why I encourage you to listen to the messages that I posted this month, even the end of last month, whatever you're guided to, because it's all clues. And this is releasing the ghosts of the past and dancing in the present, right? And the chakra card that came out for you is solar plexus, mukaite, is a good stone for you, shine. You are made of stardust, so keep sparkling, keep shining. If something or someone is in your life that does not make you feel shiny and bright and happy, it's time to release. What else do we have here, Spirit? Third eye chakra, amethyst, intuition. Intuition is the little tug that pulls you towards the light. Trust your intuition. Your truth is your truth, and only you know what that is. So trust your intuition here. You know what needs to be released. You know you're on the right path. You know your power is in the present moment. And your ancestors are with you, dancing with you, encouraging you to release. 
and the karmic cycles. It's you. You're the one. You're the chosen one. Like I said, if you're guided to this channel, you are a chosen one. And then we have peace, crown chakra, clear quartz. In stillness, the answer will be revealed. Yeah. It's time to go within. Trust your intuition. Okay, here, we'll pull this out. Let's see how we can do this. Trust your intuition and shine that gorgeous light, okay? And focus on the peace. And the peace and the answers and your power lies within you. And your ancestors are ready to connect with you at this time. Our second message to help you navigate through the twists and, you know, turns of life through the changes is the rattle. 43 is a seven, learning those lessons, standing in your truth and your power, standing up for what you believe in, shaking that rattle, right? Getting things, you may be rattled by someone or, or you may be the one that comes in to, you know, put the rattle in their ear. That's what I'm feeling, like shaking things up, stand in your ground. But let's see what spirit has to say in the book. The essence, the rattle is the spirit caller, carrying the shaman's prayer to the four directions. The body of the rattle is like the earth spinning on its axis. With the aid of the rattle, the medicine woman instills a desired destiny in her future, closing with the prayer. Great spirit, may your will be done. The rattle guides us to pray for all the earth, not just for our personal needs. When we offer our prayers for the highest good of all, everything we need is provided for us. The medicine. You want to catch God on the whisper, not on the shout. What you are trying to craft to your own desires and expectations is already there, standing before you. Do not spin the world to your own benefit. You are being offered the creator's tools, which must be put to use to serve a divine purpose. So you're being given the gift of wisdom and given tools from spirit, from your ancestors, from the wise ones to move forward in your purpose, to fulfill your dharma. The invitation the rattle comes to invite you to work with the tools of spirit, but be careful. They are very sharp and can hurt you and others if they are not used mindfully. Set your old tools aside and take up the drawing instruments of spirit. You are consciously stepping into partnership with the divine. This is a time for courageous deeds. Do not let your hesitation get in the way of your expression. Do not hesitate. Move forward. Don't let pride, don't let ego, don't let the past, don't let anyone or anything get in your way. It's time. It's time to set the old belief systems, the old programs, the codependencies, the addictions, whatever this is, the connections to these people and things in the past that are holding you back. It's time for something new. And the rattle can be like a representative of the sword, the wand, moving forward with confidence, speaking your truth with compassion and doing what's best for yourself and for everyone else involved. That's the key. And we have these fortune cookie cards and we're just gonna see what messages come out here. With the rattle. Woo, it's a lot of messages, but we'll take them. Commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. So there is some kind of divine commitment coming in. And if you hold on to the past, you won't be open to this commitment that's coming in for you. That's divine. That's more suited for you. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. Birth of a child is also likely. I mean, wow. Health. An excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Soulmates can be friendships too. There's committed friendships, committed love. Difficult times. 
Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Yeah, if you're going to end something with someone or if you want to find the peace and you're letting go and you're letting go of the ghost of the past, right? And it's been a little difficult, it's been a little chaotic or the change feels chaotic, unforeseen things happening, right? Because that's the truth about life. It always happens. But it's for you. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. So during the difficult times, connect with your ancestors, connect with spirit, trust yourself, peace is coming, commitment, divine commitments, and positive work outcomes. Constant effort will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. So maybe you've had difficult time with work and finances and that's changing now because you are changing yourself, right? The abundance comes within and then extends out to the outer world. So positive work outcomes. Commitment in business, right? Commitment in love, com beautiful friendships. Pay attention to your health. Take charge of this, right? You're in charge. So you're holding the rattle. You're holding the sword. You're holding the wand. Trust. And the third message here is the time master. 57 may be a number to you. It adds up to a three in the end. So expansion, growth, divine timing, communication, the time master, right? And here we've got the infinity sign, infinite intelligence working with you. Trust what's in your heart. That's where they're communicating with you is in your heart space. The time master. The essence. Time is a construct of the human mind through which life events are seen, seen to flow in a straight line from past to future. This, however, is an illusion. Time moves in patterns, fractals, sometimes turning like the wheel and others moving straight as an arrow. Humans see time like a ticking clock, and this image reminds us that there is only so much of it to spend in a life, like a kind of currency. At any given moment, you can see time in all its infinite potential, at once vast and all-encompassing, then shrunken and finite. It all depends on perspective. I think about this often, you guys, time of how much an illusion it is. And I look back and I'm like, man, what was I doing, you know, 20 years ago? And wow, and the time period that it was, 9-11 and things like that. Like, I mean, wow, okay? So, and moving forward from that. And now we're moving forward from the pandemic. We're moving forward through major change in the economy and we can do it. Time is on your side. You're not running out of time. The medicine. Sometimes it appears that you are running out of time. Oh, that's funny. You worry you won't get what you need or want. Everything gets stuck like a log jam. This is only in your mind. Time expands and contracts according to your ability to be mindful and observant. Fully engage in your now. It's time to release the story of your past. Equally, it's time to release your need to know the details of the future. Yeah, your power lies in the now. It doesn't lie in the past. Nothing's going to come of a situation that repeats the same cycle over and over, right? You've learned. You've grown. It's time to expand. It's time to move forward, right? You're not running out of time. And to be so, you know, hold your vision for the future and then let go of the who, what, when, where, and what time and be present in the moment because this life is about being present, enjoying the journey. All the treasure magically reveals itself when you remain relaxed and present to what is directly in front of you and nothing else. Then you realize you have all the time in the world. You will never run out of it. The invitation. When the time master visits you, he asks the most important question. Will you break free from limited cause and effect thinking by moving beyond the linear illusion and welcoming the cyclic quality of time? You find yourself at a moment when the wheel of time turns and you are able to influence the past, thus changing the present and future simultaneously. And that is possible. I do this in theta healing, in my healing sessions. I'm a Reiki master. I can help you do this. You can actually change your timeline by going back and changing things. And that's what your ancestors want you to know, how powerful you are. This is a true test of the time master. You are being invited to take back your power. So let go of the past and choose to step into your life. 
In this moment, you are all powerful. You are the time master. Anything is possible right now. Everything is possible right now. And we're gonna get some final messages here. Vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to the cosmic intelligence, exactly conf confirming this infinite intelligence. Cosmic intelligence is with you. When you go within, that's where you will hear it. You are leveling up. You are ascending to a higher level of mastery. Do you see how spirit's confirming spirit is in the house? Spirit is moving through me to get these messages out to you. Share these messages with others. I encourage you to do that. Surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in the present moment. Wow. Surrender to the present, you guys. Surrender. Share your story with others. It will help them. Fruition. Rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Trust that they will. Trust. Keep moving forward one step at a time. Be present in this moment. That's where your power is and when you surrender and you go within your vibration raises and the truth is revealed channel you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world absolutely absolutely i am a channel of this and if you're guided to this channel you are a chosen one like i said it is absolutely the truth you have these abilities if you don't feel fully tapped into these abilities, reach out to me. I will help you open up to your abilities because it's time for you to level up. You're ready. Spirit says you're ready. And at the bottom, they said, take the last card. The last message is courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Yes, you were meant for this. You can make it through anything, any kind of change, any kind of contrast, any kind of challenge. You are ready to push through and go to the other side. Do not give up on your dreams. Take charge of your life and your health and things will change. I'm sending you all so much love.